I don't know if I should even be writing this. Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. But I thought you should know about your family. And the history you're a part of. Though to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. I think the people in these stories believed them, for what that's worth. history of imagination and stubbornness and madness. Any of it seems possible. I think we've been surrounded by death for so long we've just gotten used to it. What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? It's embarrassing for me to admit this, but the pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. Three of the gerbils are mine and two had been my fault. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. side was always easier for me to understand. But the older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. Her dad had been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along, for me to come back someday 
and find everything out for myself. But looking back on it now, If she told me there was going to be so much climbing, I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. They were both pretty intense. Sam spent his life shooting photos, but Mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess we're all afraid of something. Dawn, I promise, you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are gonna last a lifetime. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Am I gonna have to shoot anything? It's gonna rain the whole weekend, isn't it? Please just take the damn picture. Hey, language. Did you wanna get a picture of me or what? I will never forget this weekend, Dad. That's the spirit. Smile, Dawn. Okay, got it. I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. You're right, Dad. It's starting to clear up. Still freezing, though. Definitely should not have drunk all that coffee. Hmm. Hey! <laughs> That's a keeper. Hold still while I take a picture of you. I'm just saying, I'm not always gonna be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff, if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was gonna be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Don, don't you think you could find something more interesting to photograph? Last time I was with my brother Calvin. Man, that was a great trip. 
Grandpa's fan taught us how to fish. How to build a fire. We found an old logging trail. There were deer everywhere. You don't need to waste any more film on me, kiddo. I bet if I could remember where that trail was, we'd spot a buck for you in no time. Give me a minute to check the map. Don? Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of it. Dad, I... Let me get behind you. Do I have to do this? Don, you don't have to do anything. If you want to survive, you'll need to be strong. Now keep yourself squared up, elbows down, like we practiced. Whenever you're ready. Great shot, Don! <laughs> I'm proud of you, Don. Always remember that, okay? <laughs> Sorry, Don, just gotta reset the timer. Totally so... normal, Don. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about Dad! Ugh! Of all these stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. 